Don't look now, but back to school is fast approaching, which means so are the daily tasks of making lunches, laying out clothes, and to help save some time and spare us a bit of stress, we are joined by organization coach and elementary school teacher, uh, uh, Vaishali Sani, with tips for getting your little ones ready for action each and every day. We've got to get our brains back into that mindset. Let's start with packing lunches. What works best for young kids? Well, I got to say, Emery, that my favorite thing to do is to get a bento style lunchbox. Um, they're great because they're great for the environment because they have, um, they're, it's not a bunch of waste and packaging that you're using. And they have multiple compartments. So then it's very quick and easy to fill them up. Uh, you can just grab whatever you have from your pantry. You don't need a bunch of containers. And you end up with a healthy lunch that isn't boring or repetitive. I like to add things like crackers, cheese, fruits, veggies, pasta salad, sandwiches, um, and yogurt. And um, when purchasing one, I just recommend that you try to get one that's easy to open, durable, leak-proof, and has at least one large compartment for like a sandwich or whatever main you plan to send. I love the ones that you demoed there for us too. Those are the perfect portions for everything. How do you recommend organizing lunch prep so that we're not scrambling to do it the morning of? Right. So what I like to do is on the weekend, I like to wash, dry, and cut fruits and veggies. And I store them in containers um, or mason jars in the fridge. And they do last all week. And um, then during the week, I just grab it from the fridge quickly and then just add it to their lunches. Um, and also after school, they really make great, healthy um, after school snacks. All right. That covers lunch. But what about actually getting their clothes ready for the day, in particular in fall, because we've got that transitional weather? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mornings can be super hectic. Um, I have four kids and, you know, we can't waste time getting ready in the morning um, and trying to figure out what to wear. So what I like to do is as soon as the laundry comes out, um, instead of folding it and putting it away, what I'll do is I'll make little outfits for them. And it just includes top, bottoms, underwear and socks. And I put it all um, into like the top and I roll it up into a ball and in their closet, they each have an organizer and a drawer works as well um, and it has five sections and what I do is I place the outfits into each section and then the child or a parent can just grab it uh, in the morning and then they can get dressed themselves or I can help them get dressed. Uh, the only thing I recommend also when doing this is just make sure you check the weather for the week um, so that you plan accordingly. Okay, that works for kids that are very young but what about when you get the kids who are like, I want to pick up my own clothes? Yeah, see, I'm not there yet. I don't have kids that age. I'm hoping that because I'm training them from now, they're going to do it. But if not, maybe they can help plan their outfits as well. Just getting them to do it, plan ahead. Um, I mean, I do it myself uh, when I go to work. I actually plan my outfits for the week. I, I love that. Uh, what are your tips for labeling clothes? Because most schools now require you to put labels in things. Yeah, so as a teacher, um, I know that our lost and found is full within the first month or two. So I highly recommend that parents label anything and everything you're sending to school. I personally like the no iron on labels um, because you don't need an iron, it's quick and easy. Um, there's also stamps that are available where you can get them customized and then just stamp it on the clothing. Um, you can get sticker labels that are very durable and you can put them in the dishwasher and everything, they'll be fine. And my one of my favorites is actually a permanent marker, which we all mm -hmm. have at home. Yeah, and make sure you get a, a black one and then like a metallic one so you can write in the black things and it still shows yes, up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> really quickly before we go, COVID precautions are now part of our daily routine as we hopefully get to head back to school. How do you recommend keeping that organized? Yeah, so for that, what I've done is set up a COVID station and it's near the front door. And uh, basically, there's just some masks, um, hand sanitizer there. And I also have the smaller hand sanitizer bottles for the kids that they can hook onto their backpacks. So anyone can just grab that on their way out. Vishali Shani, thank you so much for these really great tips. Good to get our minds in that space. Take care. Thank you so much.